Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the gyro error by EBC method. We need two nautical publications. First, we have the nautical almanac and we need also the Norris nautical table which is here we can find our ABC table. So in taking the gyro error, first we need this following data. So we need to determine first the gyro bearing of a selected celestial bodies. But for here we choose the celestial body which is the sun. And this following data, first you need to determine your date, then the time of observation and the ship's present position. So this will be taken in your GPS receiver. And we have here the magnetic variation, the gyro compass and your compass course PEC or per ship's compass means that this course was taken from the ship's magnetic compass. Take note that before taking the gyro bearing of any celestial bodies, when you use the gyro repeater, it should be aligned with your master gyro. So for this particular video, I cannot demonstrate to you how to take the bearing of the sun since I was not on board. For this video, this is only purely calculations and extrapolation of how to determine the gyro error by ABC method. As you can see here, in our nautical almanac, this is 2012, but I have a soft copy of the present uh, year of the nautical almanac, which is 2023. So later on for the data of GHC and declination, we will uh, take the data of the present year, which is 2023. So I prefer to use this hard copy instead of using the soft copies. So let's start. After gathering this data, this is your first step. If you are studying in the maritime school or in the academy, maybe this data are given. But if you are on board a ship, you should determine this following data using your gyro repeater and here using your GPS receiver and including other uh, instrument on board. So let's start finding the GHE, then LHC and the declination of the sun. This is our second step. First, August 24. We will find here August 24 year. This is August 24. This is the left hand page of the nautical almanac. Then this is the right hand page. So for the left hand page, you can see here the Aries, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the selected stars. On the right hand page, we have the sun, the moon, uh, you have the twilight, and the moonrise and moonset. Our body is the sun, so we are concerned with this column. So we can find it in the right hand page. And in the daily pages of our almanac, it is composed of three days. In the upper part, the middle, and the lower part. So for here, we have the date. This is August 22. And then the hour from 0 to 23. This is August 23 from 0 to 23 hour. Then we have here August 24. So this is the date that we need. And the time is 21. So this is 21 hours. This is the data that we need. We will we will underline this one. At the top, you can find here the GHE. The first three digit will be in the in degrees, and the next two digit with a decimal will be in minute. The next we have the direction. It will be either north or south for this page only north. This is now the declination. The next two digit is in degrees, and next the remaining will be in minutes. We will take first the GHE. GHE the sun at two one hour. We will write here also the declination of the sun. This is the symbol of the sun. The symbol of the sun will be a circle and a dot in the middle. So go back here, August 24 at 21 hours. You can see that the GHC is 134 degrees to 7 decimal 9 minutes. I have here a copy of the present year which is 2023. As you can see here, this is August 2023. From August 23 to 25. It means that this upper part here will be August 23. Then the middle part will be, this is August 24. And in the lower part here will be August 25. For August 24, this is 21 hours. This is the data that we need. At the present year 2023, we have here 134 degrees. The same with 2012, 134 degrees. But for the minutes, year 2023, 24.7 minutes. For 2012, we have 27.9. So we'll take the, the data for the present year, which is 134 degrees, then 24 
decimal 7 minutes and for the declination here blank so but by inspection you can see that this is 10 degrees north then here north 10 degrees then degrees it means those blank at between 10 degrees will also be 10 degrees here north 10 degrees 57.6 for 2012 north 10 degrees 43.9 there will be a slight difference in a minute so we will take the declination at the present year which is north 10 degrees 57.6 six minutes this is now the declination of the sun and this is the GHG of the sun on august 24 at 21 hours before you will leave this page you need to find the the correction of your declination so we have here on the bottom part you need to take note of your decorrection this is for 2012 for 2023 the decorrection is here so as you can see here 0.9 the same this is 0.9 right here the correction which is 0.9 minute by inspection so as you can see here from 10 degrees 46.5 minutes going down to 45.6 minutes and so on it is decreasing we are going to note here decreasing the value of the declination from here 11 degrees going down to 10 degrees that is decreasing or we will write here negative later on when we find the value of our decorrection we will subtract now we will go to our increments this is the value of gha on august 24 at 21 hours only but we still have 17 minutes and 32 seconds so this is now what we call increments so we need to find the value of gha for 17 minutes and 32 seconds we need to find it in the increments table so we'll go to our yellow pages k31 okay, k15 16 and 17 okay this is 16 minutes 17 minutes 18 minutes and 19 minutes so for our increments which is 17 minutes we are concerned with this with this data here 17 minutes and the following seconds here from 0 to 60 seconds for our seconds is 32 seconds so 32 seconds here is 32 seconds and we have different columns here so for this column we have the sun and planets for this column we have the aris and for moon and this column here for v or d correction we will take the data from the column of sun and planets since our celestial body is sun for 32 seconds this is 32 seconds under this column this is the unit here is degree and then you have here the minute so for the degree this is four degrees and for the minute you have 23.0 so we will write here four degrees and then 23 minutes next we need to find our d correction which is 0.9 these three columns these are all the v or d correction on the first column we need to find 0.9 so here is 0.9 so our d correction is 0.9 here is 0.9 then this is the correction which is 0.3 so we will write here under the column minutes because you have here the unit minute here will be 0.3 minute so let's go back to the gha of the sun we always add this increments let's go first with the declination since the value of the declination is decreasing we will subtract the d correction so 6.6 .6 minus 3 is 3 then the decimal bring down 5 7 then just bring down 10 degrees and the direction is north this is now the corrected declination of the sun so let's go to our gha the increments will always be added so 7 plus 0 is 7 then you have the decimal and 4 plus 3 is 7 then 2 plus 2 is 4 this is the minute then eight plus four plus four is eight then bring down three and you have here one so the, the unit here is degrees so we have now the ghe of the sun is one three eight degrees or seven decimal seven minutes to find the lha we will apply the longitude so this longitude will be the longitude when you take the bearing of the sun this is your longitude apply longitude 133 degrees then 13 decimal 7 minutes west so to find LHA we have the rules we are going to add easterly longitude and subtract westerly longitude so since this is west we will subtract so 7 minus 7 is 0 bring down decimal then 7 minus 3 is 4 and then 4 minus 1 then 8 
minus 3 is 5, then you have here 0. For the LHC of the sun, 5 degrees and 34 minutes. To find the direction, you do not bring down the direction of your longitude. LHA between 0 degree to 180 degrees, the direction is west. For LHA, which is 180 degrees and greater, 2, 3, 6, 0 degrees, your direction is east. Since our LHC is 5 degrees, that will be between 0 to 180. So the direction is west. We will now proceed to the Norisotical table, which is our ABC table. We will take this almanac, then replace it with our Norris Nautical table. Let's go to the table of contents. We have part 2, tables for use in celestial navigation. A, B, C, Asimo tables, which is page 380. So we'll find 380. So this is table for use in celestial navigation. Then from pa page 380 into page 428. For the left hand page, this is table A. And for the right hand page, this is table B. After extracting the value here for table A, just go to the right hand page. Do not go to any pages anymore. For table A, you can see that our angle. This is our LHA. The angle here you can see is for LHA. And here on the left, left hand column, you have the latitude from 0 to 60 degrees. So these, these are latitudes and for higher latitudes, you can see on the letter part here. 60 to 75 degrees. Our latitude is only 6 degrees. First, we need to find our LHA. And our LHA here is 5 degrees, 34 minutes. We have 0, 1 degree, 3. This is table B. So focus on the left hand page only. So here, we have 5 degrees. But for 5 degrees, we have 5 columns. 5 degrees and 0 minutes. 5 degrees and 15 minutes. Then 5 degrees and 45 minutes. So 4 columns of 5 degrees. We need to take the A. Then next, the B to find the C. So for tables for A, we need the value of our LHA and latitude to find the value, value of A. So for our LHA, 5 degrees and 34, we can take the column of 5 degrees and 30 minutes. Just take the nearest. Usually that is our practice, but if you want to interpolate, then you can interpolate. But for now, the nearest value here is 5 degrees and 30 minutes. So this is the column that we need. We have our latitude, which is 6 degrees. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 degrees. For our angle is 5 degrees and 30 minutes. You have here the value, which is 1.09. Okay, so we will write here for the value of our E is 1.09. You have here the, the rules for the naming. So we have also here for A, name opposite to latitude except when our angle is between 90 to 270. So our latitude is south. So if it is opposite, then north. But it means if your angle will be, our angle will be greater than 90 degrees up to 270 degrees, then name the same as your latitude. But sorry, our, our angle is only 5 degrees. So we will name it opposite to our latitude. Since our latitude the south we will uh, name it north for our table b can be found in the right hand page of your abc table so for table b you need to find the r angle the same r angle on the top and at the side this is declination find the value of your declination since our our, our angle is 5 degrees at 34 so we have 5 degrees at 30 minutes and for our declination which is 10 degrees and 57 minutes if we take the nearest which is 57.3 we need to use here the 11 degrees so 11 degrees under the column 5 degrees 30 minutes so this is the value. So we have here the value of our B is 2.03. You have here the rules. We have also the real rules. For B, always name the same as declination. Since our declination is north, so the name of our B is north. After that, we can now find our C. To find our C, we will apply big S or big S. D. For big S, S, same name, we will find the sum. So it means sum add. For different name, we need to find the difference. So when we say difference, it is subtraction. This is same name, so we need to find the sum. We will add A and B. So we will add 9 plus 3 is 12. Then carry 1, we have now 1, 3.12. You have the common name, just copy the common name. Your direction is north. So we have now our, the value of our C is 3.12 north. For the different name, take the name of the greater value. 
let's proceed to our table C. So here will be our table C. For table C, we need to find the value of 3.12 on the top. So as you can see here, A and B correction. So this is 2.36. You need to find 3.12. 3.0, 3.10, and 3.20. So we'll take the nearest. But if you want to interpolate, then you can interpolate the value. The nearest here will be 3.10. The latitude for the under the left column, since our latitude is 6 degrees we have here 5 degrees. This is our azimuth, 17.9 degrees. Azimuth now is 17.9 degrees. Since this is azimuth, we need to find the true azimuth. As you can see here, the azimuth takes combined name of C correction and R angle. Since our C is north, then the prefix name here of our azimuth is north. And our R angle is west. So our suffix name here is west. So this is now our azimuth which is in the old form or in the quadrantal form. So we need to convert it into new form or convert it into true azimuth or this is the true bearing. True azimuth or true bearing will be the same. Let me draw first the compass. This is north, south, we have the east and the west. So for north, we have now 0 degree. For the east is 0, 9, 0, 1, 8, 0, and then we have 2, 7, 0, and 3, 6, 0. So this is our first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. For the first quadrant, we have the positive. For the second quadrant, we have the negative. For the third quadrant, plus. Then for the fourth quadrant, subtract. So we have plus, minus, plus, minus. For first quadrant, we have the 0, 0. And then for the second quadrant, we have 1, 8, 0. And for the third quadrant, we have the same 1, 8, 0. And for the third, fourth quadrant, we have 3, 6, 0 degrees. 0 degree plus your azimuth equals true azimuth. For second quadrant, 180 degrees minus your azimuth equals your true azimuth. Then for the third quadrant, 180 degrees plus azimuth equals your true azimuth or true bearing. And for a fourth quadrant, 360 minus your azimuth will be your true azimuth or true bearing. So this is the formula to find the true azimuth. North and west is on the fourth quadrant. So let us check our bearing. The gyro bearing here is 3, 4, 3 degrees. This bearing belongs to the fourth quadrant between 270 to 360. So it means the naming of our azimuth here is correct. So in the fourth quadrant, 360 minus azimuth. 360 minus azimuth which is 17.9. Let us write here 0, 0.0 so that you will not be confused in subtracting. 0 minus 9 is 1. Then we have here, this will become 9. So 9 minus 7 is 2. This will become 5. 5 minus 1 is 4 and then bring down 3. So this is now your true azimuth or the true bearing of the sun at the time of observation. The gyro bearing is 343 degrees. The true bearing is 342 decimal 1 degree. Remember that gyro compass error should be less than 1 degree. Okay, for our next step, we have now the true bearing of the sun apply gyro bearing you can find the gyro error then you have here the gyro course then you have the retro course the compass course or usually they use the magnetic course and next after applying the magnetic course or the compass course you can find now your total error other call this a magnetic error and then apply variation so that you can find your division Okay, so let's start with the gyro error. So we have now our true bearing or true azimuth. So we will write here the true bearing of the sun, which is 3, 4, 2 degrees, decimal 1. We have our gyro bearing. So the gyro bearing is 3, 4, 3 degrees. We will take the difference. Subtract laser from greater. There will be no negative answer here. But we have the direction. So we have now here decimal 9 or 0.9 degree. That is now our gyro error. Now in naming our gyro error, always remember our compass best. So the error is west. And we have our compass less. The error is east. When we look at this, our compass here is our gyro bearing because our true bearing, this is a computed or calculated bearing. Our gyro bearing is 343, three, which is best or greater. So our error, the direction of our error here is west. So next, we will apply our gyro course. At the time of taking the 
bearing of the sun, our zero course is 1 to 5 degrees. So we will apply here 1 to 5 degrees so that we can find our true course. To find the true course, we will add easterly error and we will subtract westerly error. So since this is west, our zero error is west, we will subtract. Just subtract lesser from greater. Go minus 9, that will be 0.1. Then this will become 4. Then 2. So you have now 1, 2, 4 decimal 1 degree. This is now your true course. Since the zero error is 0.9. Apply our magnetic course or what we call the compass course. This course is taken from our magnetic compass. So per ship's compass. We will subtract this one. Subtract laser from greater. We have 1, then 6. So this is now our total error, which is 6.1 degrees. This is the error composed of variation and division. To find the direction, go back to our compass best error is west and compass least error is east. So of the two, our compass here is our magnetic course, which is 118 degrees. Our compass or magnetic course here is lesser compared to our true course. So this is least. So the error is east. So this is now our error. We have now the total error is 6.1 degrees east. Next, in order to find our division, we are going to apply our variation. Our variation is 3.5 degrees east. So we have now 3.5 degrees east. We have also the rule CB. We are going to apply our big letter D or big letter S. But before applying, we are going to reverse our uh, the direction of our variation before applying the big letter S or big letter D. Big letter D, which is different name, you are going to find the difference. So it means subtract. Or if you have same name, you need to find the sum. So that is addition. So we are going to subtract. 11 minus 5, 6, this will become 5 minus 3 is 2. So our division here is 2.6 degrees. Since this is a different name, just copy the name of the greater value which is east. So our division now is 2.6 degrees east. We are going to check this one to be sure that we are correct. So for checking, we will use the correcting or uncorrecting. But usually, we use the correcting the compass. For correcting, we will start with the called can, did, man, vote twice at election. Can, did, man, vote twice. This is the rhyming rule that we use for correcting from compass to true at election. Add stands for add. This is add and election E stands for easterly variation and division. So later on, we will add the easterly variation and division. Our compass course here is 118 degrees. This is the course taken from our the ship's magnetic compass. Next, we will apply our division. We have here our division which is 2.6 degrees east. So we need to add our division since the direction is east. Bring down 6 then decimal, then 8 plus 2 is 0, 10, 1, we have now 2, then 1. This is now our magnetic course. That is why I usually write here compass course instead of magnetic course because there will might be a, some confusion when we go to our correcting and uncorrecting. Next, we will apply variation and our variation is 3.5. This variation is the variation for the present year, which is 2023. Add sterling variation, the division, so is will be added to find our row course. So add 11, 31, this is 4, then 2, then we have now our row course 124.1 degrees. Let's check this one, and we have here our row course, which is the same. True course here is 1 to 4.1 degrees and here true course is 1 to 4.1 degrees. The data that we have gathered here will be entered into the logbook. The next part will be the entry of the logbook for our observations. But in this video, I cannot show you how to enter the following data in the bridge logbook since I don't have a copy of it. But I hope that this video will be helpful for you. So I ask a small favor for you to share and like this video. Then do not forget to subscribe in my channel. Thank you very much guys for watching. Uh, more videos will be coming about navigation and stability. So see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye.